Hey, so I got a question on the Ruby Grim Eclipse Discord about what my method that I mentioned in my full run video was for how I farmed Alpha Bales to get from rank 5 to 6. Right? It was 5 to 6, pretty sure. Most recent one. Um, and I mentioned in that full run video that... You know what, I'm not, I'm not gonna do the bunny hopping, I'm just gonna run for now, cause it's easier. And my hands kinda hurt today. I mentioned that my method for farming Alpha Bales was in this stage, uh, chapter 3. Apparently it's normally normally advised to farm them in chapter 4 for some specific reason, which I found could work, but it was also inconsistent whether or not um, the area that spawns the Alpha Bales would actually spawn the Alpha Bales. My method is 100% consistent. Um, it, it requires a bit of out of boundsy, a bit of a bit of boundary breaking sort of stuff, but I'll showcase it. So basically, in this stage here, there's this this path that splits off. Um, I've shown this off before. How you can get over this wall over here, not the boxes, please. You can get over that wall over there, and you can move between the two paths. Basically, and yes, this is an eclipse difficulty. This section down here will always spawn, I believe it's three waves of 15 regular Beowulfs, and then it'll spawn one wave of five Alpha Beos. So I'm gonna trigger the regular Beos to spawn. Um, I don't know if I've actually shown this off or not, but there's this really cute AI exploit you can do here where you can just kinda go back up the way you came. And the, uh, <laughs> all the enemies down there will just, for some reason, crowd around that spot right there. I suspect it's because their routing is understanding that there's no way for them to get up here without all of the, all of the funky mechanics that, you know, regular characters can use with movement. So what they're trying to do is get to the other path and then walk up the, the like, the slope over there that could, could get them around this way. But of course that's not possible, so instead I'm just gonna sit up here and do that. I'm gonna run down here and do that. I'm gonna run over here and do it again. And yeah, the reason that I use this area is because this method is extremely easy. So all I did was I just put on a whole bunch of YouTube videos on a playlist on my second monitor and then watched those while just kind of casually sitting up here and doing this over and over again. I never, by the way, never once did I say this was faster than any other method. I don't know if it is. This is just what I did. It's not difficult. It's really, really, really mind-numbing. But the thing about it is it's not hard, like, at all. It's extremely easy. So then I should get... There should be one more wave of regular Bayos, I believe? Yeah, one more wave. Cool. So we'll let, the, we'll let these guys spawn in, and then I'll get the Alpha Bayos, which their AI has the exact same wacky pattern as these guys do, so... I'll show that off in a moment, and then I'll show you how to get yourself killed so you can go back to the same, go back to the checkpoint just there at the split. Spoiler alert, the, the, the method that I use to do that is not, does not actually use the alpha bales, so that way you can, you can kill every single alpha bale that spawns here, um, unlike the other methods I know of, and still get back to the checkpoint that will let you get to these things spawning again, if that makes any sense at all. If you're, if you're interested in this kind of stuff, then it probably makes sense in some capacity. So there you go. Five Alpha Bayos. Let's just be a jerk to all of them. Oi. Go away. Nobody asked you. Remember when I said nobody asked you? Cease and desist. Okay. So, basically at this point, the only way you can actually get yourself killed such that you maintain this checkpoint and can spawn back here to where you can get to those alpha bayos is to get over to the other path. Um, I don't know if you can get to the other path by going out and around this way. You go out through this way and off to the right. If you do that, that might actually trigger the check a checkpoint past here, and then you won't be able to maintain this farming in the stage, so then you'd have to quit out, start over, and go through the first combat area again. The method that I use, and I did show this off in a video not too long ago, requires getting up and over this wall here, using this method. Up and over puts you into the other path. This is the slope that I believe those, the bales are trying to get to, because you can just walk up that. Get over here, move your way back to the staircase, and that'll spawn, that'll trigger the spawn of these boars, Borba Tusks. 
I really hope I can actually get them to kill me, because I do have the extra aura on right now. Yeah, nice and easy. So then, you get yourself killed over on this path. Give it a moment. And once again, I don't know if this is the fastest method of doing this, of farming for Alpha Bayos for a rank up, but it's the method I used. Play back in puts you right back at this checkpoint. Now this is actually really convenient. Um, when you spawn back at this checkpoint, the game does actually randomly pick between which path is open. I guess it just kind of generates a new instance of the level, like from scratch, and then from there, it, it makes the decision of whether you're going, you need to go left or right at this point. If you have to go off to the right here, you don't even need to use that, uh, that method I showed you to get over the wall there. In fact, I... Actually, wait, no, 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 sorry. It is possible. It's possible to do, it's just a lot more difficult because it requires some very specific... Some very specific positioning. Gist of it, if you're looking at Blake right now, you see how she's got her feet spread out. You have to land uh, on that ledge that I did. A bit ago, you have to land on that ledge with only one foot, as opposed to both feet, and it's really, really awkward to do, so whatever. Uh, basically, anyway, when you get that side, that split there, you're gonna head over and around this way. This doesn't actually trigger any sorts of checkpoints, so I don't know, maybe I was being silly last time. And then this wall right here, you can just go right up and over that, like, nice and simple, and then you get your bayos. You get your bayos, same exact process. It literally exactly the same. Um, so you can go through this cycle here. You can kill all these things. This is also a really good way if you're looking to get your get some masteries done for some reason. This is a really easy way to get uh, ranged masteries for a lot of characters and also um, ultimate masteries because simple, right? Um, so let me show this off here. Do I actually need to? Hmm. You know what? I don't actually need to kill all of these things to show off the rest of this method. Um, so instead, let me show off how to get yourself killed when you have this particular variation at the stage. So you see that there's this wall here. I don't know if it's possible to get over this to get back over to where the, where the checkpoint is. I've tried. There are two other ways that you can get back to the boars over there to let, to get them kill you. Because you're going to need that if you want to maximize your alpha bayo farmage here. You can actually use this exact same strat to get back over here to get back over the wall. Blake, what are you targeting on to? She's targeting on to something, which is making this input hard. Blake, please, what are you what are you aiming at? Come on. Cooperate with me. So at this point, where the where the invisible wall is here is actually exactly where that ledge is. You see what I'm lining up with the, the camera's wall there? The ledge that I stood on earlier, it's not accessible, but there is yeah, see, notice how I'm standing on one foot right now. From here, you can technically get back up and over the wall there, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that because that's not the point. I guess you can just go up and around to this side instead. Okay. You learn something new every day, I guess. <laughs> I, well, okay, that's cool. That's a method. Um, for the other characters that can't actually get up and over that wall, and believe me, they, they do exist. There's a fair few of them. Let me show you the... How did you get on that box? You're not supposed to be there. Get off the box. There is another method that you can use to get to the boars. Um, like I said a bit ago, I don't know if it's possible to get back over this wall going the other way. It probably is using Blake's ult, but I'm not going to mess with that. For any character that can't get up and over these walls, all you got to do is just kind of sneak yourself into this corner. And then keep holding it left, basically, or right, or whatever direction you choose. Relative to the camera forces you to be right next to the boars who will track you there, they kill you, and then you can start the process over. So, once it gives me a chance, I will start a spawn back in and then show you you'll be right back at the checkpoint where you can then get to the Alpha Bayos again. Um, yeah. So then this time the game decided that off in this direction is also the correct path for whatever reason. Uh, so yeah, anyway, that's, that's it. That's the method that I used to farm the 150 frickin' alpha bales, which took a long time to get to rank 6. Um, conveniently, what the game wants me to do to get to rank 7 is beat a bunch of Borbatus, and there happen to be some that spawn right here. A fair few, actually, that spawn in, uh, Eclipse difficulty. Which is mildly convenient, I don't know. Bonk. 
And there should be like three or four more, something like that, in Eclipse. Four, it looks like. Neat. Anyway, that's that's what I wanted to show. Um, so there you go. If you're looking to farm Alpha Bales and you're looking for a really, 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 really easy method that barely requires any out of boundsiness or whatever, I guess, or something. Kinda, sorta. I mean, a little. I I don't know. <laughs> there's there's my method. So thanks for watching. I'm gonna kill these boars and then probably kill more porpoises because I want to get to rank seven. So yeah, I'll see you guys in another video.